Today we are going to recreate this animation from the Apple video without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. So here we have our composition. Now let's create another composition. So let's go to composition and I'm going to call this one animation. This one we're going to make it like really long. So I'm going to set the width to 19, 20. Let's multiply it by four. And rest of things will remain same. Just click on OK. So here you can see we have this very lengthy composition, which is we are going to use for this sort of animation. So first I'm going to like create a solid. So I click new, let's add a solid. And you can pick whatever color you want. I'm going to like pick a little bit off white, something like that. Just click on OK. So here we have our background. Now our next step is to like add our text. So for that, you can select the text tool. Just click and you can type whatever you want. So I'm going to type. So here we have our first text and it's completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. I'm going to like quickly change its font. So let's set this to Montserrat. I'm going to use this Montserrat bold font, but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever you want. So let's select this and I'm going to like make its anchor point in the center. Also, let's align it in the center of this composition vertically. So just click over here. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's select this and press S and I'm going to like quickly scale it down to something like this. So I think this looks good. Perfect. So once you're happy with this, we can like place this somewhere around here. Perfect. Now. We are ready to create more text. So I'm going to like simply move a little bit ahead and I'm going to like select this text and let's press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now let's move this text and let's place it somewhere around. Let's keep it to this point. And let's quickly change this to hard work, but it's completely up to you can pick whatever text you want. So let's just place it somewhere around here and we can play around with this later on. So let's select this and I'm going to like duplicate this and let's place one text over here. Let's type consistency. Now I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D. Let's type one more text and let's place it somewhere around here. Now again, we can play around with their position. Let's select everything and we can like move them to this side. Now there's one more thing. We can go to the main composition. Let's drag this animation over here and I'm going to like put this to the left mode side something like that so that we can align this text only rest other text we can like do it later on so first i'm going to like make it a little bit to this side so that this text is like somewhere in the middle of this composition let's enable the title action save now you can like do it precisely so just move it to somewhere around here yeah, i think this is in the middle perfect so now we can like change all the other text according to this so let's place this one like over here and this one we can like place it to this side and we can like move it to this location and let's duplicate this and let's type our last text and let's just move it to wherever you want to place this let's keep it in the center somewhere around here perfect so here we have all the text that we want to use now we are ready to add some arrows to this so first I'm going to like quickly zoom in and I'm going to like draw an arrow between these two. So the basic idea is going to be the same for all the arrows and I'm going to set this to let's say 20 and for the stroke I'm going to like pick this green sort of color. Again it's completely up to you can pick whatever color you want. So make sure none of the layer is selected. Now you can just simply click and you can hold down the shift key or you can like do it manually just click over here. Now I'm going to like zoom in. Now I'm going to like click to this point to make the arrowhead. And let's click back somewhere around here. First, let me just quickly change this color so that you will be able to see what we are doing. So here I have like created this one more angle, but I'm going to like keep it somewhere around here. And let's click over here. So here you can see we have this arrowhead. Now in order to make this perfect to get rid of this, we can like probably move it like that perfect so here we have our arrowhead and we are ready to animate it out but first i'm going to like change its cap so let's search for cap and over here we have this line cap set this to rounded cap instead of butt cap now you can see that the edges are rounded 
but you will notice that this edge is surrounded but this one is not so in order to fix this all we have to do is hold on the alt key or option key on mac just click on this and you can see that it will make it like rounded but now you will have to like tweak this further to make this to affect something like that so here you can see we have this really nice arrow perfect now let's animate it so uh, to animate it we are going to like just add a trim path so let's add it over here and let's go to trim path and i'm going to like quickly animate it using the end property so i'm going to like set this to zero let's add a keyframe let's move a couple of frames ahead and i'm going to like set this to 100 so now if i press play you can see we have this arrow and we have added the animation to it perfect now in order to like place it at the correct timing we are going to like first animate our first text which is this one so let's quickly animate this it's very easy let's go to animate and let's animate its position and under the animator let's add a property let's add opacity as well now for position i'm going to like place it down below and opacity i'm going to set this to zero now we can go under the range selector and let's add a keyframe for end or the start we can add a keyframe for start and let's go a little bit ahead somewhere around here we can like set this to 100 now we can go under the advanced options and instead of characters we can set this to word now if i press play you can see we have this coming up word by word we can select this press f9 to have a little bit of easing now in order to have more easing we can like go inside and we have this ease low so i'm going to set this to 100 perfect we can move these keyframe like little bit ahead so that we have this very smooth animation and as soon as width comes in we can like have our line moving something like that perfect now we can play around with the timing of these arrows later on so after that we can switch to this other text which is this hard hard work and now again we are going to like draw some arrows now before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so let's select this and i'm going to like draw a curvy arrow so for that we can like click a point somewhere around here then click over here and drag you can see it will create this curvy line now you can let it go hold on the alt key to like grab this handle and let's place it over here now again we can create the arrow in the same way so let's click over here and let's just click to this point again let me just quickly change its color so that you can see what we are doing so let's just place it over here and we can like click somewhere around here just like that again with this one as well we can search for cap and set this to rounded cap now we can play around with this hold on the alt key and just click over here so that it will make it rounded something like that perfect so here we have our arrowhead yeah i think this looks good now instead of adding the trim path we can just simply select this press u and we can just simply copy this property and just select this layer and just paste it by pressing ctrl v now here you can see we have already added the keyframes like that now we can select these and let's select everything press f9 now we can again play around with the timing later on like that now let's just add more arrows over here so it's actually quite easy now we can just simply duplicate this so let's select this press s let's uncheck these properties and i'm going to set this to negative 100 like that so here we have flipped this or if you want you can like right click go to transform and you can flip it vertically or horizontally however you want so i'm going to like flip it this way so let's add an arrow to this point again we can rotate it as well like that perfect now we can like extend this so let's just move it to this point perfect so here we have like two arrows now in the same way you can like have more arrows over here as well now next step is to let's set the timing of these arrows so let me just quickly go to the main comp and it's actually quite easy all we have to do is just play around with the position of this so let's add a keyframe and i'm going to like move it a little bit ahead so let's play it so as soon as width comes in we have this animation so i'm going to like move a couple of frames ahead and let's just move it to this side and let's just make the other text come in like that 
So now we can select these keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now I'm going to like select this and let's zoom in. And I'm going to like change the graph to look something like that. Now, if I press play, you can see we have this and we have this coming in. And I think the timing for the arrows is very nice. So we can probably make it a little bit faster, something like that, so that it comes in very quickly like that. Now, if you want, you can have more arrows over here as well. But if you don't want, then we can like keep on going. So after that, we can have an arrow going from this to this. And there are a lot of different ways in which you can do that. So let me just quickly do that. So let's select this and we can draw some curly arrows as well. So for that, you can like select this, just click over here and just click and drag. And now you can like click somewhere around here. And let's click to this point. You'll probably move it like further away. So here you can see we have this looping arrow. Now again, we have to do the same thing just turn this away and like click over here let's change the colors just to see what we are doing so let's just click somewhere around here so that we have these two lines and after that just click over here now we can change the cap set this to rounded hold on the alt key click over here then just simply adjust these two perfect so here we have our really nice arrowhead now if you think that this side is a little bit bigger then we can make it big as well perfect so here we have our arrow now again we can copy the this and just paste it over here so here we have our curly arrow and we can play around with its timing as well so after this we can like move a little bit ahead and let's go to the other text as well so just simply move it to this side here we have our next text and let's go to the graph editor and just tweak it to look something like that so now if i press play here we have our first text here we have our second and i think the timing for the arrow is perfect if you want to make it like really slow then you can like increase the distance between these two like that and this as well but after that you will have to play around with the timing of the arrows as well but i think this fast motion is looking good maybe a little bit of delay like that so perfect so after that you can like have more arrows coming in just like we did over here you just simply duplicate these and just move them here and there and you can have a bunch of different arrows you can play around with their size and just tweak them however you want like this and let's just play around with its timing so as soon as this arrow hits we can have this one as well Perfect. So in this way, you can like keep on creating and having a lot of different arrows and just keep on having them. So I will come back once it is done. So now I have created all the arrows. Now if I press play, you can see we have all these arrows and they are emitting one after other. Now in order to like fix all of these arrows into this composition, I had to like increase the size. So I just changed it to 9600 and you can like change, increase the size if you have like more text as well. But once you're happy with this, we are ready to like tweak this more. So you can see that right now all of these arrows are like very perfect. So we can like fix them or like have some distortion to this. So we can search for rough and edges effect and let's just simply drag it over here. And after that, you can play around with a couple of these settings. So right now you can see we have this like little bit of extra details to this. So we can first increase the size to something like that. Let's set the complexity to one and also we can like decrease the border so i'm going to like set this to something like four like that so here you can see it will like add some deformation to your arrow and it will make it like look like hand drawn or something so now you can see that this is not perfectly straight instead we have like little bit of bumps over here now which makes it like little bit natural so after that you can copy this and just paste it onto the all the other layers like that perfect so here we have added everything now our last step is to like just animate this out so here we have our first frame and after that we have like the second one so let's just play around with the timing as well so this is the second one 
and this is the third one now in the same way we can like move this away like this and have the next text so somewhere around here now if i press play you can see we have all of these and in the same way we can like move a little bit ahead and have it to stop at this u now we can select the keyframes and let's just press f9 and i'm going to like change all of these to something like that so here you can see we have this and we have all of the other text as well so this is how you can create these kind of arrow animations and you can like keep on going and adding more text if you want the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one